Hey, what's going on you guys? Young Carts here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make cover art for your type beat videos. So let's get started. Open up your web browser and search up an artist that you're going to be doing a type beat for. So I'm going to be doing a future type beat. I'm going to go to Google Images. Find an image that you like. Um, so here's an image of future that I'm going to use for my type beat video. I'm going to save it to my downloads. And then from there, I'm going to create a new Adobe Photoshop file. All right, from here, you're gonna set your width and height to 1920 by 1080. Uh, basically, what that means is it's a 1080p uh, photo for a 1080p type beat video. All right, so then you're gonna create it. You're gonna have this blank file. From there, you're gonna go get your downloaded, or, uh, your downloaded photo, drag it in, to the workspace here and then if needed you're gonna possibly you may possibly need to enlarge the image so that it's filling the entire uh, box so you're gonna go ahead and just keep messing around with the free transform tool and the width and the height and all that and make sure that this option right here is selected so then it's keeping the ratios all uh, the same so that your image doesn't look like it's stretched out or warped or anything like that. And then once you got it, you know, to the point where it's filling up the box, hit that check mark, go to your move tool, move the, fo move the photo if needed to a position that you like. I'm just gonna leave it right here because I think that looks great. Go ahead and go to the, where is it? 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 Uh, image adjustments and then you're gonna go to threshold. All right, so from here, uh, you can go ahead and adjust, and adjust the threshold to, whatever, to uh, whatever you like. So I'm gonna just set it to about 83. All right, so now you can see we're getting this really cool uh, stencil-like effect. So I'll just hit okay. Now, you might be thinking, well, what is all this crap around the image? Well. There's a simple fix. So what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna rasterize the layer, all right? And then you're gonna get out your eraser tool. All right, you can make your eraser as big as you need and I would set it to a white color just so it kinda gets rid, so it gets rid of all of this junk that we don't need. So like, see all this? You're gonna go in, you're gonna erase this just like so. After using your eraser tool, you can see that the image looks a hell of a lot better um, and now it's just focusing on future himself front and center with the image so now the last step I like to do is I, I like to give the background a different color because maybe you don't always want to use a white color or a blue color or a red color maybe you always want to switch up the colors right for each of your type beat videos so what I would do is I would just go ahead and you know, you can come over here, select the color that you want. Uh, I'm just gonna go for something like, I don't know, purple, pink, or you can do blue. Let's, let's do a light blue. And I would stick to lighter colors, so lighter shades of a color, rather than the darker shades, because then it lightens up the image more. It's easier to make out the image rather than using a darker image. So I'm just gonna use a light, like uh, a light blue color. And then from here, you're gonna go to your image adjustments photo filter. You're gonna click on the color option here. Click on your color that you selected over here using the picker. It will, auto, it will automatically select the picker for you. Click okay. Turn the density up to 100% and make sure preserve luminosity is turned off. And you can see we have some of our background. Now to get the rest of the background looking blue, we're gonna go into, we're gonna select our background layer. Select the paint bucket tool. And then again, our blue color is already selected. So you just click on one of the white spots and boom. Now you have your tight beat cover art photo. And now from here, you just save it. You open up your video editor. You plop the image into your video editor along with your uh, beat. And there you go. Now you have a type beat cover art photo that can also be used as a thumbnail 
for your type beat videos and that is all for me today so if you guys enjoyed this video you learn something new go ahead smash that like button leave a comment share this video with friends and family and most importantly don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys in my next video peace